saw her marks after the short program, you could see the look of shock. And we were a little bit shocked, too, because it was such a strong performance, yet she finds herself wow. sitting in sixth. She was so perfect that um, I saw what I wanted to see and didn't see the mistake. That was a downgrade on one of her jumps. last year's world silver medalist and no doubt went back to the drawing board to make sure she could come back strong for the free skate. have the biggest jumps in the world but they are precise and beautifully landed and nine times out of ten clean as a whistle in the knee on that landing to pull her forward using the outside edge. It's little moments like that peppered all through the program that just make you appreciate her skating skills, musicality, presentation, confidence. She has such beautiful economy of movement. She never wastes a gesture, an arm movement, a toe point. It all means something. Two-time and reigning national Japanese champion and reigning four continents champion Satoko Miyahara, who just turned 18 this week. How much ground did she make up with that free skate? We'll have her marks next.
Hitoko Miyahara of Japan. Taking to the ice for her free skate. Feeling a lot more confident after that than perhaps her short. Well, when you have two wonderful performances like that, back to back, how do the judges separate them? It boils down in the end to what we call the grade of execution. How much you are going to get rewarded by those judges for every element that you do. And a jump simply completed gets exactly what we call the base mark. And what Satoko does is just ride that ragged edge of giving it enough revolutions on her landings to not get a deduction, and yet there's hardly any GOE grade of execution added on to it. And when the Russian skated, she was getting GOE, we call it, all over the place. And that's when the, the scores pile up. She gets a panel that is not rewarding her jumps because they think they're not big enough, they're not quite clean enough, then she's in trouble. But this peppered through the season, she's been sometimes rewarded for those jumps. To, uh, but oh, when that's what at, I was going to say. But that's when you're what you talked about. And you spend a week on the ice rehearsing and practicing. With direct comparison beside you every the day. best in the world, yep. all on the ice at the same time. By the end of the week, the judges might be going, you know, her jumps are kind of small. And they watch the practices. They know. And but Kurt, the, you've been saying that all season, that you thought her jumps were just, just a little I, small. I love her to death. I just wish that the jumps were presented bigger. And she's a tiny little thing proportioned to her size. Maybe her jumps are not that small, but ugh, she doesn't quite finish the rotation clean clean enough oh it's confusing mm -hmm. but what i want to say is the audience instant standing ovation so everything else is a gift from the skate gods to her she's just a joy to watch she just gotta get in the air higher that's that's a major flaw well let's see how the judges do judge her when compared against the best in the world 153.14 is what she's going to need to take the lead. She's going to need some big marks here. And her season's best is 142.43. So she's going to need a season's best performance here. That was a great skate for her. 139.89 is she will not take top spot from the Russian, but she'll tuck in nicely for now right behind her with a total of 210.61. Pull her blanket over her head and snuggle there for a little while. See what happens. So because she's in second, she gets sent to that room. It almost sounds like a bad thing, but it's not. Go to the winner's room. <laughs> okay. Representing.